we begin our story in the quaint city of Yellowton, located high up in the lower Cascades. Many settled here during the gold rush in search of a quick buck. I'm rich! Rich, I tell you! Looky here! Yes, hmm, three flakes. That's worth about one and a half cents. Yippee! My ship has come in! And your mind has sailed out. Of course, for some, the thought of panning for gold was too much work, and they desired a faster route to riches. And those folks ended up at Red's House of Cards, a gambling hall where fortunes were lost, and, well, they were mostly lost. I'm only down $428. That's just six months' pay. It was an establishment flush with cash, where everyone could have fun, and... Uh, uh-oh. I have a feeling, though, this one's not here for the Baccarat and Bottomless Beers. Oh, I am. I'm just also here for the contents of their safe as well. Fanny Fennec, do you really think you can take on a whole casino all alone? Alone? No! And I won't be in five, four, three, two, one. This is a raid. Hands in the air! Nobody move! Does fainting count as moving? No, you're good. My goodness! It looks like Fanny brought the whole pack! You're really going all out on this one, aren't you, girl? You ain't seen nothing yet. And with that, the pack started to strip the casino for everything it had. They worked like a well-oiled clock, taking every dollar from the cashier's cage and every table in the house. No, he meant taking every dollar from every table not taking every table. That makes more sense. What am I gonna do with that girl? Eagle calling Hawk. Eagle calling Hawk. Come in, Hawk. This is Hawk. No, you dits, I'm Hawk. I thought I was Hawk. No, you're Pigeon. If she's Pigeon, then what am I? You're a lark, now get off the line. Fanny, the fuzz are pulling up now. Looks like the entire YPD. They're getting ready to storm the building. You heard her, Faith. Storms are coming. And with a storm, there's rain. Faith made it rain, all right, in dollar bills. All over the entry foyer. This whipped the gamblers into a frenzy, who let that every free green back in sight. I haven't seen this many bills since the Great Pelican Migration of 97. Of course, this riot also stopped the cops dead in their tracks, blocking them from the casino at large. Ding, dang it. Everyone's gone plum crazy and lost their common sense. Looks like dollars, not cents, boss. Dimwit. Time to beat it, gang. And beat it they did. Right out the back door and onto their waiting motorcycles. Okay, everyone, split up and meet back at HQ by Natball. The cops can't follow all of us. Oh, the cops would have if they could, and they did try, but they ran into a little trouble. What's wrong, Clancy? She won't start. Do you think we ran out of gas? No. In fact, they had run out of spark plug wires, courtesy of Fawn Fennec. And people say I never get my hands dirty. Later that evening, at a remote house deep in the mountains, the pack reconvenes. All right. Looks like we did good tonight. Is everyone back? Fawn? Here. Faith? Here. Ferris? Here. Fiona? Here. Philomena? Presente. Fortune and fame? Here. Here. Fran? Fran? Has anyone seen Fran? Her motorcycle is not in the yard. Dang it. Faith, you were supposed to watch her. Why do I always have to watch the dits? Because I'm too busy watching everyone else. And Fran's not smart enough to watch out for herself. Maybe she got pinched. She better be. 
Because if she's loafing, then I'm going to give her such a pinch. Indeed what became of Fran Finnick. Find out next time in Pinch Me, I'm Dealing! Or always bet on the louse. <laughs>